The question we are going to solve in this lecture is taken from GATE 2017 exam and according to the question we need to consider the system with following input output relation. This is the input output relation yn is equal to 1 plus minus 1 power n xn where xn is the input of the system and yn is the output of the system and we are required to comment about the nature of the system. Option A is invertible and time invariant. Option B is invertible and time varying. Option C is non-invertible and time invariant. And the last option that is option D is non-invertible and time varying. So it is clear that we need to comment about the nature of the system using the system relationship. So we will first write down the given system relationship. Output yn is equal to 1 plus minus 1 power n multiplied to the input signal xn. And when you look at the given four options, it will be clear that we are required to find whether the system having this relationship is time invariant or time variant and we are also required to find whether the system is invertible or non-invertible. So we will first find out whether the system is time invariant or time variant and for that we will focus on the given relationship. You can see that we are having 1 plus minus 1 power n as the coefficient in the system relationship and it is also clear that the coefficient we are having is not at all constant. It is not constant because here we are having n. n is the independent variable and therefore the coefficient is function of n and hence we can say that the coefficient is variable and not constant. And we know whenever the coefficient in the system relationship is not constant, the system is time variant and therefore option A and option C are not correct. Now we will find whether the system is invertible or non-invertible and we know, we know whenever there is many to one mapping, whenever there is many to one mapping, the system is going to be non-invertible and whenever there is one to one mapping, the system is invertible. So let's find out whether the system is having many to one mapping or one to one mapping and for this I will quickly make one table. In this table the first column is for the input signal xn and this column is for the output signal yn. Let's say the input signal xn is equal to delta n minus 1. So from here we can say that output yn is equal to 1 plus minus 1 power n multiplied to delta n minus 1. In place of xn we will write delta n minus 1. Now we know one important property of impulse signal when delta n minus k is multiplied to the discrete time signal xn then this is equal to x k multiplied to delta n minus k. We are getting this result by replacing n by k. So replace n by k and you will have this result. Similarly, in this case you can see that we are multiplying delta n minus 1. This means k is equal to 1. k is equal to 1. And we will replace this n by k. This means we will replace n by 1. 
So we can write this as 1 plus minus 1 power 1 multiplied to delta n minus 1. Minus 1 power 1 is equal to minus 1 and 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and 0 multiplied to delta n minus k is equal to 0. So we are getting yn as 0 when xn is equal to delta n minus 1. Now let's take another xn 2 times delta n minus 1 and for this we will get yn equal to 1 plus minus 1 power n multiplied to 2 times delta n minus 1. Now again using this property we will replace n by 1 and therefore we will again get 0. So 0 multiplied to 2 times delta n minus 1 is equal to 0. So you can notice that we are getting same output yn for two different inputs. Therefore we can say that there is many to one mapping and as there is many to one mapping the system is non-invertible. So finally the answer is going to be option D. Option B is not correct because here you can see that system is invertible. But system is non-invertible and time varying. So this is the answer and now I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.